Here's a third update video on this hillside retainer wall system. Y'all check it out. We started the process of removing the stairs this morning so we can put the second upper wall in. Hunter's down there cutting the uh, boards off right now. I got a strap hook to it and we'll try to pull them out one piece, see if we can uh, reclaim these. I'm sure somebody will have a use for a set of stairs. It. <laughs> I love the uh, design part of these projects. I'm up here on top of the bluff right now. I'm gonna look down and see exactly where I want to install this second wall. And I know I want to go around these oak trees and save them, but you can't really tell much. You still got a lot of this underbrush that's growing up again. So a view from the top on the west side of the property. You see with the lower walls in, we're starting now go with the second wall now just trying to see exactly where I want to locate that really hard to tell with all the vegetation in the way go down the stairs here to get a little bit closer view I'm trying to line this uh, center wall up or second wall I'm gonna try to make it where I can save this tree here too. get the elevations done right where well, this tree's gonna be okay it's a beautiful live oak tree driving the pilings. The wall is going to be about six to seven foot tall. We left the pilings up tall because we're going to be installing a cable handrail. We're going to be installing a triple double whaler system. I flipped my boards on the side for the maximum strength. Good progress over here. Got a bunch of the poles set, whalers going up. Got another one of our barges head over here. It's got a heavy southeast wind blowing this week and we we're not able to get across the bay to load of materials. So we're gonna use this site right here to go ahead and um, get the materials loaded so the guys can get back here on the uh, northern shoreline where it's actually kind of calm. We don't have any um, strong wave action winds blowing.
Hey Todd, yeah, let that sheet stick that way a little bit because I want to be able to go ahead and put a tie back rod in it. Pass what? Pass the pole, kind of flush, the pole. flush with the pole. Yeah, flush with the outside of the pole, okay? I want to be able to tie that back so we can get some dirt in that area. Let's keep pushing against all those whalers. Come back up. I think there's some rocks down in that area. Good? several corners to have to deal with so we're gonna have to deal with them anyway we got one two three four I really I really want this one to start here because I want to be able to get a dead man rod through it so I can tie this back see what I'm saying because I want to put a rod I want to be able to tie that back but I mean we're gonna have to deal with four corners anyway I see what you're saying but I really want to start right here <laughs> First one right. Once we get a 
couple start up. It should be better. back to it. That'll help me hold this next sheet still, okay? Can check your plumb on it? Okay, find one. Okay, look good. I'll run back to the trailer. Is that it? Running back to the trailer is not fun over here. This is a heck of a steep hill. Get you some billy goat legs. Hey guys, we made some pretty good progress over here and got the uh, second layer started. Got some vinyl sheets drove in today. Went ahead and started doing a little bit of backfilling and getting ready for our Tyvek system. Yeah, the Tyvek system on this wall is 5 8 type 316 stainless steel rod, 18 feet back in the ground, tied to an 8 inch by 8 foot long piling with a couple drag plates on it. That'll keep this wall from falling over. Just a freestanding wall alone without a tieback system will not support the load of dirt we have on the backside. You see how this wall kind of meanders down through the hillside here, wrapped it around these oak trees. It's going to be a beautiful uh, location. It is a beautiful location now, but it's going to be really accessible and pretty once this is all done. Walking up the hill now, and I don't know if you can tell exactly how steep this thing is, but it's pretty crazy. You lose your footing as you're trying to walk up the hill. <laughs> Got us a material yard here, or lay down yard here now. Got all of our rough cut timbers, our stainless steel rods, our vinyl sheet pilings in place, additional pilings for the top. Some of the trash we've taken out, stacked up over there, ready to go to Reclamation Center. Kelly Hickman's Reclaim Dockwood Plus Pilings, if you haven't checked it out. It's on Facebook. Hey, thanks for watching the continued videos on this project here. We're going to be doing several more. This project's probably going to take me about two months to complete. So if you like it, subscribe. If you like the uh, page, 
in the video, give me a thumbs up or give me a thumbs down, whichever way. And if you give me a thumbs down, leave me a comment why you left me a thumbs down. I like to see what's going on. And if you got a good comment for me, please feel free to leave that or if you got any questions. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it.